I am at St. Mark's Place. And I've got $50 again. It's a $50 challenge. Mm. Hey everyone. Welcome to another video from beautiful New York City. This is a beautiful Saturday afternoon and I am at St. Mark's Place. So basically, St. Mark's Place is the street which is in the East Village that runs from all the way from 3rd Avenue where we are right now and this is by the way Cooper Union behind me so Cooper Union is a, a very famous kind of a design architecture school and it is very famous because it used to be free at one point but no more I think but what's interesting is St. Mark's place so it goes exactly from 3rd Avenue all the way to Tom Kitson Square Park, which is like about Avenue A. So like three or four Avenue blocks it crosses and they have got really, really nice budget eats and also interesting shops like tattoo parlors and all that. It used to be a very, very bohemian, hippie-ish kind of neighborhood in the 70s and 80s. But of course that has changed now. That's now a lot of students kind of hang out over here and there's definitely very good food places so let's go and let's explore and i've got 50 dollars again it's a 50 dollar challenge so we're going to use 50 dollars and see what we can spend over here on food on anything and everything so come along join this journey with me and we have got a lot to explore guys So guys, came to this place called Bao. It's a very quaint little Chinese restaurant. It has got great dim sum, tea, drinks, etc. Very cool vibe. Everything is kind of, I will show you around, kind of open, exposed brick. Really nice. So it's just at the edge of St. Mark's Place and 3rd Avenue. So more close to us than 3rd Avenue. So the food will order some, you know, dim sum and I will show you exactly what it is. Again, it's a $50 challenge. I'm going to cover a couple of places after this. So don't go away, lot to cover. So got the cucumber salad. Looks really, really yummy. So got some jasmine tea also. The whole setup is really nice. Look at this. The tea leaves are in here. So there is a strainer. So that's uh, with the hot water. Wow, very cool. Time to taste the tea. It's cold outside, so this is beautiful to have this tea now. Really nice jasmine tea. Absolutely nice. Mmm, yummy. So let's try out this cucumber salad. Mm. It's really nice. It has got this, those Szechuan flavors in it and it's got that kind of the spicy tangy taste very nice mm. kind of a little bit of the Szechuan flavors over here almost like the mala chicken excellent all right moment of truth let's try out the dumplings this is a crab and pork dumplings and you know how it is you just put this up in that little spoon and kind of make a hole on top oh it's already juicy it's coming down uh, I'm gonna be a little bit awkward on this mm. made a little hole I'm gonna put some of the soy sauce with garlic on this I'm sorry with uh, yes garlic and that actually adds to the flavor adds to the taste but anyway there's like very juicy inside as well and it's steaming hot so I gotta be careful otherwise it's gonna burn my tongue cheers guys mm. you have that little pork fat inside that really adds to the flavor of everything it's really fantastic again recommend this place is called Bao I'm gonna put a link below definitely if you're in St. Mark's place come over here and check it out you will love it So guys, just came out of Bao. The food was fantastic. It was not cheap. So the entire thing cost us $36, including tips and taxes. But the food was awesome. 
but let's go and check out what else we can do. I really want to go to a coffee place now and sort of wake up a little bit. You know, after a good meal like that, you need that coffee. And also we'll hit some bars. So please stick around and I will show you what else we are doing after this. So there are lots of budget eats over here. A lot of the Chinese restaurants that you see in Flushing, you know, Chinatown has actually moved over here. I mean, they have opened up, you know, the, the Manhattan branches over here. So you, if you don't feel like, if you're in Manhattan and if you don't feel like going to Flushing, which I would recommend that you go and check my video that I did, you do not need to go that far. You can, if you're in Manhattan, you can just come over here and get some of the best Chinese foods in St. Mark's Place. Some of the really well-known restaurants from uh, Chinatown in Flushing has opened up over here. But definitely, definitely go and, uh, you know, check out my video for the Flushing. Okay, and I'm going to just, I think it's over here or over here. Not sure how where it comes on the screen. I will put a link and uh, I'll put a card over there. So definitely go and check Flushing out. But as I said, if you don't want to go, those, those places are available over here too. We came to this cool little kind of an Asian bakery place. They've got Japanese and Chinese pastries and desserts. I'm gonna get one of these pineapple cakes. This is like, I really, really love them. They have the Portuguese tarts as well. So guys, got a cappuccino over here and this traditional cakes. I'm gonna have it and I'll tell you how it is, but this place is so cute, so quaint. So guys, let's check out the cappuccino, how it is. Mmm, pretty nice. And let's look at the, let's check out the pastry too. It's a little bit hard to open, but here you go. This is one of those very Asian pineapple filled pastries. You get that in pretty much all the Asian bakeries. Mm. Very really nice. Not too sweet. You can see the filling, the pineapple filling. The chairs are a little bit low over here. And the table is a bit high. It goes very well with the caption. I'm going to put a link below. Please definitely come over here if you're in St. Mark's Place. So you can go to Bao, have some dim sum, have some you know, Chinese lunch or dinner, and just come over here and have a cappuccino, have some dessert. Nice way to balance it out. So guys, the coffee and the dessert was just excellent. So it was about $10, including tip and taxes. So we don't have too much to play with, but still, so it was about 35 bucks over there for the at Bao and ten dollars for the cappuccino and the dessert that little beautiful piece of cake we have five more dollars left so let's go and check out where else can we go definitely in josing for a drink so let's see with five dollars where can we go for a drink so come along this video is not over yet please stick around and if you're loving my videos please subscribe my channel So this is a very, very famous place called the Puerto Rican Import Company for Coffee. One day I'm going to come over here and show you what's inside. But just wanted to show you, this is another great place to come when you're in St. Mark's Place. It's a landmark of St. Mark's Place, has been here forever. Uh, guys, I'm going to put a link of, about this place. You can actually learn how to make sushi in this place. Wow. So these are the kind of quaint little, cute little places you will see. Sushi making classes. How would you know it's over here? So that's what's so great about, you know, Manhattan or anywhere in New York City because every neighborhood is di different, every little place is different. So when you're just walking around, you just bump into things that you didn't even know it existed. So the best way, the best way to explore the city is on your two feet. Absolutely. This is also a very Ukrainian neighborhood. So this is a Ukrainian church. You see the Ukrainian flag everywhere. So you'll see this a lot in this neighborhood because this used to be a very much of a Ukrainian neighborhood before the entire East Village, in this neighborhood of East Village. Wow, look at this tattoo parlor. You'll see this a lot. All kinds of tattoo and piercing places. 
Look at this cool little sock store. So you don't need to go to Walmart to buy socks in Manhattan. This is what I like about Manhattan is everything is this neighborhood stores. You support the local businesses here. Right so guys, this is the end of St. Mark's Place. That's the Tonkinson Square Park. That's a very famous landmark of the East Village. Actually, this is the start of Alphabet City, so it's no more East Village because Avenue A starts from here. But look at this, how still neighborhoody this place is. So we're gonna find a bar or somewhere to get a drink because it's kind of cold outside. So let's go and have a drink and I've got five more dollars still left and there's a lot of happy hours going on. So we should be able to squeeze in some drinks in that five dollars. So let's go guys, more to come, don't go away. Wow, look at this really, really cool place. This is such a great East Village place. The beers are just fantastic over here. So this is a super cool place, guys. So I got a lager and it's, let's try it out. Mmm, there's a local lager, really, really tasty. It's so good. So the place is so quaint. It's so, so East Village type. Such a funky little place. So I'm going to put a link below. Definitely come and visit this place. This is at the end of St. Mark's Place, very close to Tompkinson Square Park. We have covered from one end of St. Mark's to the other end. Had a great time. And this beer costs, with tip and taxes, about $13. So guys, I have gone a little, a little bit above my 50 bucks. So first place was close to 35. The second was 10, so 45 plus 13. So that's 58 bucks. So $8 over my budget but you know this is why New York City is an expensive city trying to keep within the budget is so hard but try it guys try it but I needed to show you the good places and kind of forget about the budget for a bit but not too bad still under $60 so thank you and cheers so this place is called Augur's Well so I'm gonna put a link below Definitely, definitely come and visit this place if you're in St. Mark's Place area because this is such a cool little bar. So I hope you're enjoying my video and you love this trip to St. Mark's Place. Although I could not, I think I lost my challenge. It was about 58 bucks, went $8 more than what my budget was. But still, I hope I could show you this whole street. Definitely, this is such a quaint, such a little interesting place in the East Village. More videos to come, and if you're enjoying my videos, please do hit the subscribe button and please hit the bell icon because that's how you'll get notified when more videos are coming. So thank you for watching and hope everybody is doing well and have a great night and good night from Manhattan, New York City.